everybody, AmpRePureGuy.com, also HardboxElectronics.com. Please like, share, and subscribe. So we have an L4B here. I'm going to go through it, around the grids. This one has an old, old Harbach soft start that's coming out. It's had problems. Jeff stopped selling them for reasons, so I'll put it back to stock. It's not needed. I will go through the top, oil the fan, put in meter protection diodes, and uh, do everything else I normally do up here. Check it all over. The uh, power supply is on the, on the other side of the bench. I'll replace the high voltage fuse in it and take those 50k resistors out for the, uh, the that they use to put the tubes in a cutoff and I'm going to put 100k resistors in. Tubes will still be put in a full cutoff and they will run a lot cooler. I'll also change the 5k resistor below it and um, that already has a Harbach board but uh, well, actually let me show it. I'll be right back. Okay so here it is. The resistor. I have some of these, so I'll just put that in. Um, not for sale. I only have a few left. That's why they're not listed on the site for purchase. So it has the Harbach filter cap board. Someone else put in. I'm going to replace these high voltage leads. This one's not good. And uh, the two resistors, like I said. And then the resistor below. And also add uh, reverse connected diodes and the B negative below the supply cabinet and also in the RF deck so so if there's ever a short it'll be positive it'll protect the play current meter all right so I will uh, see you guys soon stay tuned just noticed that the guy who put the Harbach board in the guy that works on a lot of um, Drake stuff he didn't put the fish paper back of the board, and um, did a really sloppy job with soldering stuff. So I'm gonna have to touch up on some solder. I mean, it's like really bad, like globs of solder. Uh, so I don't know how far back the wire is protruding from the board. So I'm gonna have to lift that up, fix some solder joints, and um, can't leave it like that. So. Also replace these wires I said before. Hey, see you guys soon. Stay on some on the front, and the rear. Rear all look good now. See, no fish paper. It's supposed to go between these factory brackets and the board. So I'm going to install that and then put it back in. See you guys soon. Okay, so I always have the customer cover the intake so the impeller doesn't get damaged. Went a little overboard with the cardboard. So when I'm done, I'll remove it, and when it goes to Get shit back. I'll put a smaller piece on to protect it. So for the return trip. So it had the two prong receptacle. I just removed it. It's right here. The key line. Someone also added RCA jack. They're both in parallel. So customer wanted me to clean it up. So I'm going to put the adapter plate in with a new RCA jack and put the diode in. And I'll plug this hole up. So diode's missing. So, I'm going to get to work. See you guys soon. We're back with the completed Drake L4B. Customer wants to see it working on 40 meters. I already tested 80, 40, 20, 15, and 10, and then went back to 40. Okay, so I have 2,500 watt slug in. Radio set to roughly, I don't know, 70 watts or so. So, Bird 43 with PP kit on. Now I have to clean my bench. I gotta key it. Audio hello. Audio hello, hello, hello. Audio hello, 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 hello. So that's like 900 right there. Put it on the higher voltage. Audio hello, hello, hello. 1250, 1250, 1250, 1250. Audio hello, 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 hello. Audio hello, 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 hello. Grid current. Tit, 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 Audio. Audio. Reflect nothing. Ford. Audio. Tit, tit, tit. Okay. Show you one last time. One last time. One last time. Tit, 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 tit. Works as it should. Works as it should. Tit, 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 tit. 
Okay, so I'm gonna let the tubes cool off. I'll pull the covers off and show you everything I did. Stay tuned. See you soon. Okay, so I'm gonna show you everything I did down here. I fixed the key line. So now it has one RCA jack. I plugged the hole. Got the adapter plate. The other RCA jack was loose. Put the diode in, put a terminal strip. I have kept nuts holding the plate in. So I cleaned the relay contacts really well with deoxy gold. I put reverse connected 6 amp diodes in between the B negative and ground. Just put them in here. Decided they weren't needed in the power supply. So the meter's fully protected. I changed the jumper 240. Let me get a pointer here. Now people don't like my finger. Put the proper electrolytic cap in. I got rid of that board. Fixed the wire, soldered and heat trunk it. Grounded the grids right to the metal. So I drill each hole out slightly larger so I can put a 632 screw through. Everything soldered nice, nice. And then the one over here, I just go through the wall with a screw and then use a solder tab. So the wire for the ALC, I don't know what happened to it. I don't know if it like flashed at some point. I know during certain failures, you can end up with the full plate voltage on that rheostat. So I saw that. So it wasn't shorted. So I took it out, put a new piece in. This is Teflon jacketed, the shielded, you know, center conductor. So I did that nice, nice. It's all soldered nice. So it's all set. So I didn't check the blower. You know, I had, I told the customer, I said, make sure the impeller sprints, spins freely. I've been working on this all day. Sorry guys, I'm tired. So I left the cardboard on till the very end and I take it off and I spin it and it's rubbing. I'm like, oh man, that's just great. So I got lucky. I was able to loosen the Allen screw and I slipped, you know, pulled the impeller out just a hair and it's no longer rubbing against the scroll cage wall. So nothing really to see in the top. But I'll show you the top. And I will uh, see you guys in a second. And the SO239s are nice and tight, so I didn't have to mess with those. Sometimes, if it ain't broke, no fix, like these ones. I don't have problems with these older ones. They may even be Amphenol. I'd have to look closely. But behind this board, and, you know, if you do things that really don't need to be done, sometimes you can create another issue. So they are super tight. Don't have to mess with them, so they're staying as they are okay so I'll flip it over and show you the top see you guys in a second change the meter lamps I cleaned the rotary switch deoxy gold took the tubes back out clean the band switch with deoxy gold and uh, that's about it okay so I'll show you what I did to the power supply see you in a second Hey, here's the power supply. I forgot to mention, I also cleaned the input rotary switch with deoxy gold. So I had taken the board out, I installed the fish paper, I replaced the, the positive wire going from the board to the 50k resistor, put a new uh, 0.82 ohm resistor in, acts as a fuse, replace those two 50k, resistor, 50K resistors with the 100k ones, 100k uh, 50 watt. They still put the tubes in to cut off and they run a lot cooler. Use new high voltage wire to put the other one in series. So they're both in series. Use those zip tie sticky square things to hold the wire in place. Touched up on solder joints on the board. Replaced the B negative wire. Fixed solder joint over here, changed the uh, 5k resistor, had a 4.5k in there, had some damage to it. So this is just temporary, I have to put it back together before it goes. And um, that's about it. Just uh, lots of little things, just took a bunch of time. So I'll give you a good look. Everything is nice, nice. So if you need an amp repaired, feel free to give me a call. 
Phone number is 203-892-4119. Websites are ampreperguy.com, also harbachelectronics.com. Please like, share, and subscribe. And this is getting a brand new set of Pentalab 3500Zs. Awesome, awesome company. Okay, so, I'll see you guys tomorrow. I think I, uh, I think I have an AL811H to work on tomorrow. And I also have an AL80 here. An old school one. So, have a great night. I am exhausted. Time to go relax. 73.